involved in selecting our winners this year. First, we have Angela Connor of SunTrust Bank. <laughs> Carolyn Pearson Cook, Absolute Communications. <laughs> Steve DeLine, Eastman Chemical Company. <laughs> Larry Maston, our lead judge and certified public accountant. <laughs> Jacqueline Merritt, U.S. Small Business Administration. Julie Pearson, Absolute Communications. Rachel Walston, Hunter Smith and Davis. Thank you for your time, investment, and commitment to serving our small business community. I know this has not been an easy task for you, and we truly appreciate all you've done. Now I would like to ask Vanessa Bennett, Director of Operations at the Kingsport Chamber, uh, to join me as we start the next segment. Finally, it's time to recognize the top small businesses in the area. If you're a sponsor, please come to the podium as your award is called. The first award for Young Entrepreneur is sponsored by Kinetic, a social and community involvement group for young professionals. Kinetic's organizers wanted to create opportunities for young professionals who live or work in the Kingsport area to interact socially. But the group's mission isn't just to have fun. Opportunities for members to perform community service, either through volunteer work or by serving on nonprofit boards and committees, are also being pursued. Here to help us present the Young Entrepreneur Award is President Rachel Ralston and President elect Julie Pearson. The contenders for Young Entrepreneur are Baby Cakes Kept Cakery, Dykes Trucking, FNL Limo Livery, Rasnick Chiropractic, Sophisticated Starlet, and Towels Auto and Truck Repair. Please come up front if you're announced as a runner up or a winner to receive your award and make a few comments if you would like. And the runner up is Baby Cakes Cupcakery. I'll go ahead and read the, the little verbiage about Baby Cakes so you can go visit them. Baby Cakes Cupcakery opened in Kingsport in July of 2010. Baby Cakes employs two full-time and four part-time employees. Despite naysayers saying you can't have a business focused on one item, they have done exactly that. Baby Cakes has two operations, one here in Kingsport and another in Abingdon, Virginia. Thank you, Natalie, for bringing your delicious cupcakes to Kingsport and for your time and donations supporting our local... You wonder what Vanessa's doing. I get a little excited when I start reading the uh, the winners and the runner-ups, and I want to read them before they're shown on the screen, so she has to cover it up, so I won't read it early. <laughs> and the winner for Young Entrepreneur is Tao's Auto and Truck Repair. rather than hitting the pavement to look for a new job. Music decided to start a new business of his own, Tal's Auto and Truck Repair, and retain jobs for his coworkers. Fortunately, the former customer stuck with him and now the business continues to grow. Congratulations, Tal. Thank you. 
The next award is for new business, sponsored by Dixie Pen Communications. Dixie Pen Communications optimizes your presence in the eyes of your customers. They do this by helping you project your message through written communications, web content, newsletters, blogs, and social media. They can also optimize or improve your day-to-day -day operations by evaluating gaps and problems and how your employees communicate and interact with each other and with your customers. Here to help us present the new business award, Angie Boyd, Dixie Pen Communications. The contenders for new business are Cheek Solutions Incorporated, Fish Window Cleaning, Cornucopia, Moon Tuxedo, Preferred Tax-Free Retirement, Rasnick Family Chiropractic, Saltwater Willie's Bio Cafe, Sophisticated Starlet, and Towels Auto and Truck Repair. And the runner-up for new business is Saltwater Willie's Bayou Cafe. The owners, Wayne and Angela Michelli, opened Saltwater Willie's Bayou Cafe on September 27, 2010. They provide a livelihood for 20 full-time and 30 part-time employees. Wayne's forte is marketing, creativity, and entrepreneurial flair. The best campaign to date started out as a joke for a billboard that featured a picture of one of his managers in Speedo with the caption, Real Men Eat Fish. <laughs> the owner took that idea and used Photoshop to superimpose his own head on the body of Mr. <laughs> Universe with the caption, Fish, it does a body good. This led to an overwhelming Facebook reaction and people literally getting in their cars and leaving their office to see the billboard. I know most of you have done this. Even today, almost three years later, people are still talking about the billboard. The Michelli's now have two very unique restaurants in Kingsport that provide a dining alternative to chains. Very uh, thankful to be here tonight and humbled. And after uh, seeing Bill Gantt's commercials, I got nowhere to go with that. Once again, thank you very much. We're very pleased to be in the Kingsport community and offer to very unique restaurants to try to the region and uh, just a very blessed uh, every day to be able to serve the uh, people of the tri city region and uh, once again thank everybody thank you and the winner for new business is Rasnick family chiropractic Ben Rasnick, also known as The Running Doctor, opened his clinic in 2008 in the midst of a flagging economy. He continues to deal with many more challenges amid numerous recent and forthcoming changes in health care and insurance. Since the owner is also an avid runner himself, he decided to focus his practice around running injuries. He has developed new approaches to treat the nagging complaints of runners with a faster recovery time and reduction to re-injury. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Rasnick. Thank you all very much. Uh, it's definitely an honor and a pleasure to be here and uh, practicing here at Kingsport and serving everyone here in the Kingsport area of Tri Cities. Uh, I was away for 10 years after growing up here, so it's, uh, it's definitely been nice to come back to what I know, to the area that I know, and uh, to the people that I know to serve them and offer my, my, uh, my abilities and what I do best, and hopefully find a niche there that everybody else can tie in with and have them out. So, thank you again. The Innovation Award is sponsored by Eastman Chemical Company, a recent recipient of the American Institute of Chemical Engineering, Industrial Research and Development Award for 2011. Eastman's chemicals, fibers, and plastics are used as key ingredients in products that people use every day. Approximately 10,000 Eastman employees around the world blend technical expertise and innovation to deliver practical solutions. The company is committed to finding sustainable business opportunities within the diverse markets and geographies it serves. Now, before I um, introduce this next gentleman, he said, are you sure you know how to or pronounce my name? 
And he said, just when you think of how to pronounce my name, just imagine me as a combination of George Clooney and Tom Cruise. So <laughs> this next gentleman is George DeCruz. He's a beautiful guy. Thank you. The 2011 contenders for the Innovation Award are Preferred Tax-Free Services, Steel Transfer, The Utility Company, and The Village of Allendale. And the runner-up is Steel Transfer Company. which specializes in packaging and local, domestic, and international moving and storage, has been reinventing itself for the past 83 years, and they're not about to stop now. Their story is truly about endurance, adaptation, strength, and fearlessness. Steel Transfer has been family-owned and operated since it was began by Tom and Rachel Steele in 1928. Recently, they have adapted to the weakening storage market using an innovative marketing approach by launching a new business division entering the file storage market. Congratulations. Thank you very much. There's, though you've done a business for a long time, you have to stay in June with your customers and changing markets, and that's what we're trying to do. Thank you very much. And the winner is The Village at Allendale. Don't let the fact that the Village at Allendale is a charming assisted living community for seniors fool you. In 2003, the Village at Allendale opened its doors as Kingsport Senior House, a single home for 26 seniors. A 2010 expansion added two family-oriented homes with 26 elders residing in each. Today, the Village at Allendale is proud to be the only assisted living facility in the area to offer the innovative nationwide trend of smaller homes rather than a traditional larger medical facility for elder housing. This concept has received interest from pioneers in elder care with leaders in the industry visiting from Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Illinois, the Village at Allendale. with less than 10 employees is sponsored by Workspace Interiors, which has been at the forefront of providing clients with quality office furniture, efficient space planning, and creative commercial designs since 1976. Workspace Interior, Interiors employs a wide variety of people, including architects, designers, uh, design and AutoCAD, salespeople, project managers, marketing, marketing advertising and warehouse personnel, and installers. Unfortunately, uh, Bob Feathers could not be here uh, tonight to join us. The contenders for business excellence with less than 10 employees are Aldebaran Financial, Carriage House, f &L Limo and Livery, Fish Window Cleaning, Front Row Sports, Hill House Graphic Design, Ken's Hot Dog Hut, Cornucopia, Moon Tuxedo, Preferred Tax-Free Retirement, Rasnick Family Chiropractic, Sophisticated Starlet, and Tiles Auto and Truck Repair. And the runner-up for Business Excellence with less than 10 employees is Ken's Hot Dog Hut. Ken Kerrigan started his professional journey as a chemical salesman for more than 18 years 
touting cleaners, solvents, greases, lubricants, etc. He has always wanted to start a business for himself, so he saved money and kept his eyes open for the right opportunity. In 2004, he embarked on his first major entrepreneurial adventure, a state-of-the-art self-storage complex at the site of the former Patey Lumber Company on East Stone Drive, which had sat vacant for six years until that time. Over a two-year period, he took the business from zero dollars in revenue to over $30,000 in revenue per month. He sold that business in 2007 for a profit, which put him in a position to acquire Hot Dog Hut in 2009. Ken has recently purchased a new building connected to the new parking garage in downtown Kingsport for a second new location, which we we're very excited to be open in the first quarter of 2012. Ken Kerrigan. Well, I'd like to thank you all very much for your support and uh, your continuing support. I know everybody in here has probably had a hot dog at a hot dog, <laughs> or at least some sandwich there. Uh, and my thanks go to, uh, of course, to Mike Locke for starting a computer sales place many years ago and then finding that the hot dog sold better than the beer, so we can <laughs> beer. Uh, but I want to thank you all for your support, and I'm looking forward to being downtown to, uh, there's so many people that cannot come to the hot dog park. There's just very limited parking, and you can't get in half the time, so we'll be down here. People say we can't find a place to park, but now we've got 300 spots. <laughs> <laughs> no one excuse. So thank you very much. And the winner for business excellence with less than 10 employees is Hill House Graphic Design. Already an award-winning company, Hill House Graphic Design uses creative ideas, marketing and advertising experience, patience, good listening skills, and excellent design to improve their client's success and help them reach their goals. Hill House has been in business for over 25 years and has navigated many ups and downs. Hill House works extensively with nonprofits providing services as well by volunteering through charitable giving. Like the company, their work has true staying power. Okay, thank you. Thank you all very much. I just want to recognize my whole staff. We all came tonight. Uh, Chuck Hill House, Sandy Bell, Martha Jones, Jay Huron, Jimmy Caswell, and all our spouses. We decided this would be a Christ our Christmas party, so thank you all. Thank you, Margaret, for making a better plan. The award for veteran-owned business is sponsored by Food City. The Food City banner dates back to 1918 when a store opened in Greenville, Tennessee, but KVAC Food Stores' real beginning was in 1955 when Jack Smith, founder, his father Curtis, cousin Ernest, and Uncle Earl opened their first store in Grundy, Virginia. Since that time, Food City has grown in leaps by acquisitions of several Piggly Wiggly operations in Southwest Virginia and Eastern Kentucky, along with Quality Foods, Food City, White Stores, Winn-Dixie, and Bilo units in East Tennessee. Here to present the Veteran-Owned Business Award is Tommy Stanley. The contenders for Veteran-Owned Business are Aldebaran and Preferred Tax-Free Services. There will be no runner-up for this category. And the winner is Aldebaran Financial. <laughs> Aldebaran's story really began in 1960 when their former founder, Donald R. Raber, joined the United States Navy. The bulk of Don's time in the Navy was spent aboard the USS Aldebaran AF-10, a supply ship that participated in the Cuban Missile Crisis Blockade, hence the name. Don left the Navy in 1966, completed his education, and began working on Wall Street in 1968 as an options trader for Henry Blair and Company. Don worked on Wall Street until 1973, when as an employee of Bosch and Company, he transferred to their Charleston, West Virginia office, 
to avoid the commute and winters of New York. After working for several more financial institutions, Don's desire to continue to serve his clients in the best possible manner led to the creation of Aldebaran Financial in 1987. Aldebaran Financial is deeply committed to community service demonstrated by the consistent and frequent participation by staff in various volunteer and leadership opportunities. Aldebaran Financial. I guess the uh, first thing I should say is, is thank you very much, especially to, to Andrea right there near the end. She said you guys need to, to get an application in. So uh, we, we put something together pretty quick and, and, and got in. Uh, I, I, I know you said former founder, but uh, existing founder and, and still very much the president. Uh, we're, we're very proud of the service uh, that dad put in the U.S. Navy. And, uh, it, it's influenced everything we've done. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our staff and our clients who uh, really become family. In, in the investment world, trust is everything, and, and that's what we try to build our business on. And, and the success that's represented by this world award it is very much built on that trust. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll, we'll turn it over to that. <laughs> a real quick story. Bill Gatton was sitting here tonight. He said he wasn't a good salesman. 1982, when I went up to Gatton in Bristol, we were looking for a specific vehicle, young family, two kids, and we were looking for a station wagon. You already know what a station wagon is. <laughs> <laughs> and in Paul's bill, Bill had just been up in Kentucky, his, his vehicle was just flooded with stuff, his baggage and just all his business papers. And I said, well, gee, that's the car I want. Within 15 minutes, I think the car was as clean as you can see, and we bought that car. That's a sales The Impact Award is sponsored by Triton Insurance and Financial Services. When you call Triton, you receive the personal attention that you want. You are a valued customer, not an account number. You are a familiar face, a valued friend, and a neighbor. Triton will be there for you when you need them most. Contact Triton when you're in the market for auto, homeowners, life, health, and business insurance. Here to present the Impact Award is Bill Ketchum. Since Bill is actually the creator of the Impact Award from his early days of volunteering as the chairperson of the Cosby Volunteer Council, I'm going to ask him to explain this um, particular award further. The Impact Award is the only award that you cannot apply for yourself. Every small business owner in here has someone who has been an impact in their life. You don't have to look far for terms such as economic uncertainty. Don't quit your day job. I wouldn't do it. But finding those people who will say it sounds like a good idea. That sounds great. I think you have just what it takes to be successful. That's what makes an impact person. And that's the reason we designed the Impact Award. To celebrate those people who are not just yes men or yes women, but those who encourage, those who show somebody the way, those who mentor. This year, for the Impact Award, the nominees are David McClaskey from Powell's Business Excellence Institute. Don Royston, Dent K. Birkin Associates. Hank Brown, We Run Events. Harvey Mitchell, State of Franklin Bank. Gene Boggs Rowe, Covenant Marketing. Jerry Sluter, Eastman Chemical Company, Retiree. John Lester, Dr. Ready Laboratories. Kathy Richards, Abby Coach, Michael Strajars, Sophisticated Starlet, Natalie Shortridge, Baby Cakes Cupcakery, Pope Chandler, Reliable Data Solutions, Sheila Ferguson, Hair Bitter Salon, Todd Miller, Host of Medical Group. There is no runner up for the Impact Award. And the winner is Kathy Richards. 
SunTrust operates approximately 1,700 bank location, bank branches across the southern states. Here to present the Woman Owned Business Award is Jackie Merritt with the U.S. Small Business Administration. The contenders for Woman Owned Business are Baby Cakes Kept Cakery, Back to Basics Massage Therapies, Carriage House, Dykes Trucking, f and Limo and Livery, Cornucopia, Moon Tuxedo, and Sophisticated Starlet. The runner-up for woman-owned business is Back to Basics Massage Therapy. Basics, they focus on their individual client's needs and expectations. If you need to relax from a stressful week or if you've overdone it at the gym, they have the right massage for you. Rather than portray their services as a luxury for pampered women and men and as a way of giving back to those who protect our community, Back to Basic offers a lifetime discount to veterans, active military, police officers, firefighters, and emergency medical technicians. The owner, Margaret Helms, was forced to give up a lucrative career which she had no plans to leave when the company she worked for was sold in 2008. She decided to do the one thing her father never did and went into business for herself in full time. She hasn't looked back since. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I have looked back once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> so many great businesses in Kingsville. We really do have the best of everything here. And it's an honor to be named one. Thank you very much. And the winner for Woman to Own Business is FNL. FNL Limo and Livery. started their business in 2000 when they bought a horse-drawn carriage as a weekend hobby offering historic rides through downtown. Today, f l is an 81% woman-owned business that operates Blacktown car sedans, a minivan, a line of SUVs, an old-fashioned trolley, 
the most up-to-date stretch limos, and a 15-passenger minibus and more. Sherry Monroe has been featured in Business Journal of Tri-Cities in their 40 Under 40 recognition program. She is a recipient of the Cotton Act or Hospitality Above and Beyond Award from the Kingsport Convention and Visitors Bureau. And she and her husband, Rodney Monroe, who recently ran for the Board of Mayor and Alderman for the City of Kingsport, have both completed their Leadership Kingsport program while operating this small business. Congratulations, Sherry and Rob. by Thompson Metal Services. Thompson Metal Services recycles any type of metal. If you're looking for a scrap metal recycler, aluminum can recycling, roll-off containers, copper recycling, wire recycling, stainless steel recycling, a metal processor, and more, Thompson Metal Services is your solution. I don't believe Dean Kirkhoff is here tonight with Thompson Metal Services. Okay. The contenders for business excellence with more than 10 employees are Dykes Trucking, Lake Point, Saltwater Willies by O Cafe, Steel Transfer, and The Village at Allendale. And the runner-up is Dykes Trucking. When Kim Dyke started her trucking company in 2009, she had two customers that she hauled for. Now, she has 31. She has learned that mutual respect, honesty, and determination goes a long way. She respects her competitors and peers, and they treat her with respect also. Two years ago, she applied to get her business certified as a TDOT Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, but her application was denied. She had to wait two years before she could reapply. Rather than just sit around waiting, she thought about ways she could strengthen her application. She decided to study to be a bona fide contractor and this year obtained her own license. In October, with her contractor's license and hand, she reapplied for DBE status. She learned last week that she was approved. Yeah. This proves you never give up. Congratulations, Dykes Trucking. And the winner for business excellence with more than 10 employees goes to Lake Point. Lake Point's number one goal is excellence in customer service always. Now a two-time winner of the prestigious Cosby's Business Excellence Award, the company was recently among 28 organizations across the state to be recognized by this year by the Tennessee Center for Performance Excellence for Outstanding Achievement. Lake Point is a recipient of the Level 2 Commitment Award. Before submitting their application, Lake Point sent four employees to a two-day training class at Powell's Business Excellence Institute. Each attendee brought back best practices and something they could implement in the business to make it better. Lake Point is a family-owned small business employing 27 full-time and two part-time associates. The company has recently expanded, adding Lake Point gifts and awards at 1567 North Beastman Road in Kingsport. Still growing, Larry Burris with Lake Point. It may not be a smart man, but I'm a smart husband. My wife is here tonight, Betty, at 43 years of marriage, I'm smart. Uh, you know, I, the second time is just as great as the first time, you know, and I want to first thank Miles, Andrea, Mayor Beth, and your staff, and we need to give them a round of applause just to have this recognition. <laughs> uh, and I'm so proud of Jane Hillhouse and her staff. I remember Jane used to come out of our office. We had about the size of this right here, 700 square feet, like a 
one of our, our kitchen was an office and uh, you know you live the American dream and you know, there are so many things uh, I, I could say that you know, I just keep saying it, it would take more than time that y'all would stay here tonight. But, you know, it's being consistent, uh, as Bob Bill has said the truth, and you know, being honest, and, you know, telling your staff. And one thing I've learned, you know, I, I may not be real smart, but I, I'm smart enough to know to hire the right people, you know, give them the vision, give them some goals, keep it very simple, very basic, and get out of the way to let them do their job. And I, I thank everyone, and again, Miles, you and your staff, and this reading. Thank you. And now our lead judge, Larry Maston, has a, sp a special presentation he'd like to make. Thank you. This is the uh, second year I've been lead judge. And it's a real honor and joy to work with the fine uh, panel of judges that we have and to look at all the different companies that have applied. In the last two years, I've probably heard 50 presentations in choosing and assisting to choose um, all of these winners and runners up. Uh, it's become very difficult. Uh, it's particularly interesting that there have been so many uh, small businesses, given the fact that nine out of 10 small businesses fail within the first 12 months. That was a statistic that Arthur Anderson developed 40 years ago when I began my career. Um, it's even tougher now. And what's, what's keenly fascinating is the fact that Kingsport is bucking that trend. We see more and more new businesses, people that are passionate about their ideas, people that are able to deliver services, fine customer service, fine products, fine ideas to our community. One of the things is, as an ex-CEO that I've been trained to do is look at shapes, patterns, and trends. And what I see in all these presentations is the fact that there is a common thread here. Uh, Miles, would you join me, please? There is a common thread. Uh, another nice thing about this, this being chief judge is that we can do what we want to do. <laughs> Last year we created an award, and this year we have created an award. Uh, and we call this award the Cape Crusader. Uh, and the award attempts to recognize the super person behind all of these companies. Um, Andrea, will you join me? The Cape Crusader is the author of a book called Startup. Savvy? <laughs> Chief and counselor, cheerleader, um, uh, shoulder to cry on for so many of these businesses. We see her hand in every single application. It's just been a fine, fine, fine work that she's been doing. Uh, we'd like to congratulate you and honor you with this award. Thank you. Thanks. contenders and winners for 2011 one more time.
And now for a little fun, Vanessa is going to take over from here. Everyone, please get your tickets out. Remember, you have to be present to win and you have to have a purchased a ticket. First, for all of our winners, for the grand prize winners of each category, please see one of us after. You all each have a $100 gift card to Google AdWords, compliments of Elixir Group. So the winners of each category, please see us afterwards and we'll get you this certificate. When you see Elixir, please thank them as well. Our next award, if you will please check under your seats, there are six centerpieces and I have six compliments of flowers by Copper Creek. Congratulations, my 
Michael Reedy. <laughs> Henry Miller once said, the real leader has no need to lead. He or she is content to point the way. Pointing the way is exactly what Miss Andre Wilcox does, and she's going to point us out here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cosby, and now our Kate Crusader, my former boss, and my good friend, Andre Wilcox. I am so happy. <laughs> what a great night. It's just so exciting, and thank you all for coming tonight and uh, choosing to start your business and build your business here in Kingsport. Um, for one more time tonight, we definitely want to thank all of our fabulous sponsors for sticking with us on this event and uh, helping us put this event together. Jerome, Julian, SunTrust Bank, we couldn't do it without you. have done it two years in a row with us. We love it. Thank you. We hope you'll do it again. Um, our other sponsors, our top tier sponsors, and you'll see them on the screen. They've been with us for a while as well. Our media sponsors tonight, our event sponsors, Copper Creek, Flowers by Copper Creek. I can't not single out Charles Phillips for setting this room up for us. This is a very big deal. And um, also our award sponsors this year. We really appreciate you for supporting small business and, and helping us with this event. Um, I think that's it. Of course, I cannot leave without thanking Janet Callahan. Where's Janet go? She went to sit down for being up here all night, but we couldn't do it without you. And thank you for stepping up and being our chairperson next year for Cosby. We really appreciate it. We're going to enjoy working with you. Dr. Bob Justice, thank you for taking Cosby under the wing of TSBDC. I'm excited about the great things we can do next year. So with that, good night. Thanks for coming. <laughs>